The latest is now with uh, Rana, who joins me in the uh, studio. Rana, um, well, let's just start with the turnout, record low turnout. I think I was reading 3.7 million ballots spoiled. So is he uh, the legitimate winner? In the view of many, he's not. He's a president of the minority. Uh, more than 30 million people uh, didn't vote. And as you said, nearly 4 million people um, uh, put invalid votes. And the reason they did that was because some of them are employed by government institutions and they're worried about consequences of not taking part because they stamp your ID and then they're worried about the, the ID not being stamped in the future. Um, so. Overall, one would say that the turnout is probably even lower than that. If you include all the invalid votes and the votes for uh, Abdel Nasser Hemmati, which, which, was, which was a kind of a reformist candidate. So together, one can easily say that 60 percent of people said no to the Islamic Republic. And, and he is a hardliner. He's known as the butcher of Tehran for the mass executions in 1988. Is he Khamenei's chosen successor, as some suggest? So... So, as you said, some have suggested that, and it's very likely, because Khamenei is in his 80s and it's, it's possible for him to, to pass in the next four years. If not, he, Khamenei wanted to make sure that the next uh, president in Iran is not a serious challenge for the successor of the supreme leader. Some even suggest the possibility of Khamenei's son becoming the next supreme leader. And as a result, um, Khamenei was worried that a president who might have different views from the ultra-conservative -conserv establishment could have challenged the next successor. So either Raisi or someone else, they just wanted a unified establishment that would not pose a challenge. Naftali Bennett, the new Israeli Prime Minister, has made uh, very clear what his view is about this, having a hardliner in power here. What does this mean actually for the, the nuclear deal, which the world is trying to stitch back together again after Trump pulled out? The decision about the nuclear deal is not in the hands of the president. So we, we always knew that when pre the current president, Rouhani, uh, was negotiating it, he was negotiating on behalf of the, of the supreme leader, and that won't change under uh, pre uh, President-elect Raisi. But what will change is the t overall tone of the president and his, his cabinet. So President Rouhani, many of his ministers were Western educated, they spoke good English, they could communicate. Uh, famously, um, uh, Javad Zarif. Zarif, yeah, ja uh, Foreign Minister Javad Zarif was educated in the US. He was very friendly with uh, former Secretary of State John, John Kerry. But that won't happen under um, uh, Ibrahim Raisi. So on that personal level, there, there won't be that kind of understanding. Okay, Rana, thank you.